Fortnite Season 4 is here, and along with it are some new best settings, colorblind modes, and much more. So let's get into it. Let's start with performance mode settings. For display settings, use full screen on 1920 by 1080, and for frame rate, set this to one above your monitor's refresh rate. For example, if you have a 60 hertz monitor, set your in-game FPS to 120, and so on. Now for colorblind mode, I find this season naturally a bit brighter on no colorblind mode, but I do recommend bumping your colorblind mode up a bit to try to know on 115 brightness at 8 colorblind strength. It gives the game a really nice vibrance and you can see in the storm pretty clearly as well. For graphics quality settings, put your view distance on medium. This allows you to see builds and weapons from a nice distance without sacrificing FPS. And then for textures, set these to low. For high resolution textures and reminders, turn these both off. They literally do nothing except drain FPS. Epic, why would you even code these settings into the game? Then honestly, you can use low or high meshes this season. I tested out high meshes for a month or so and noticed no real difference that I could feel in my input delay, so use whatever you like the most. Then head into your main settings, go down to the bottom, and then make sure you turn off all of your replay settings so Fortnite doesn't drain your FPS in the background. Now let's switch over to DX11, and these are the settings that you should use. Have all of these settings set to the lowest possible, so either near, low, or off. Except down in the advanced graphics where you see allow multi-threaded rendering. You'll want this turned on because what it does is basically spread your game performance out to multiple cores in your CPU, which can give you better performance. However, don't use this setting if you have less than four CPU cores because this can lead to game hitching. To know if your CPU has four or more cores, do a quick Google search before applying this setting. Now that we're done on DX11, you can now swap back to performance mode. For some extra performance, click your Windows key and type background apps, and then once you get there, disable all of your background apps because all they do is drain your game performance for literally no reason. With that said, if you enjoy these quick, informative tips and tricks videos that don't waste your time, please leave a like and subscribe, stay safe, and have an amazing day.